Yeah, mosses. He does it. Uh, they are in the game. And off. the question becomes, and we should get an interview from somebody like Todd Shrupp or maybe Simon Bray as to how the mounts were selected in this particular series. I don't know that these horses are evenly matched. Uh, I'm not aware if in 2004 you were allowed to have uh, the same horses. That was always the great way to go. You can't say that it was the horse that did it if you're both riding the same horses. Nevertheless, Ian Jaime and Paul the Duke are into the first yeah, I'm like, turn I'm not really, of this like, Tampa Stakes. Break that the same five race series that we've seen so far. We'll just see a different renewal of it. So think of this as a three-year-old division uh, running races over and over and over. We're at a mile and a quarter on the turf. There's six furlongs left to go. And what exactly is taking place here? Up on the outside, that I believe that's Paul Laduca on the bottom. Paul's making the first move to the lead. They are midway down the backstretch. Yeah, that is correct. Joaquin is on the outside, and Paul Laduca has taken the lead. A stable style, I believe his name is. And I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere, but I don't know what to do about it. So Stable Style takes the lead, but here comes Joaquin on the outside. Will there be antics? Will we see some knockout, dragout fights? Will we take advantage of the fact that in this Gallup racer there are no rules? As they turn for home, they're stride for stride, they're shoulder to shoulder, they're toe for toe here. There's a quarter of a mile left to go, and Joaquin Jaime is set down for the drive, and he has a two-length lead. Paul Laduca is all in, and he's faltering here. Paul Laduca will have to re-rally. He's back to fifth, and Joaquin Jaime looking good in the early stages of this semifinal round. His mount is an easy winner. If this is the way the rest of the series is going to go, it's going to be a long afternoon. For the former Matt, Paul the Duke. Oh, he God, I get it anyway. Oh. You're not a Mara baseball wow. aficionado. Wow. If it was a heck of a good guy, good play. And could be found during spring losing. training at the Palm Beach Kennel Club. Carrying 180 pounds, what the heck? That hurt. I'm the counter and that stuff. Really? <laughs> Somebody said Amazon Prime did a thing on the Arizona Cardinals. Is that correct? Am I top or bottom? Yeah, they did. You're bottom. It's like hard knocks, but... Is it better? I don't know. I, I watched it and she thought she loved it. She loves it. So she's the one that told me to watch it. Yeah. The question is, can Joaquin Jaime continue to dominate? He's rode so well. He's the Joel, Joel Marrera, or whatever the guy's name is, of Hong Kong. He is the Joel Rosario, the Javier Castellano, and the John Velasquez all rolled into one as they round that first turn. So Paul's going to keep out in the center of the course here with stable style, and Joaquin is completely content to let him do that as they race into the backstretch run. There's six and a half furlongs to go. According to our clockers here on Gallup Racer 2004, they've both rode a perfect first couple of furlongs here. There's now five and a half furlongs left to go. I'm intrigued by this, calling the race. I don't feel like this game is actually being run true to the pace. I think these races are actually faster than the timer, but... I suppose that's impossible since the timer can't lie and the time is continuing to move. So they went through three quarters and one twelve and four as they round the far turn. What's going on up top is that Joaquin Jaime maintains a narrow lead as Paul Duca tries to sneak up on the inside. Joaquin will float out because again, contact is what you don't want to do. You can't actually foul anybody. So at this point, Paul Duca sits down his horse, they will sile for the drive, but Joaquin is right back at him. And Joaquin Jaime takes the lead and he's still under a hand run here. It's Joaquin Jaime moving away. Paul Duca flat to the boards again and not gaining. Joaquin Jaime moves to a very, very comfortable lead in this five race series. He's now up two to nothing. He wraps his horse up. He lost, but the win wager pays in this particular race on the fourth yeah, place finisher, no, 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 Dancer. I don't get it. That's weird. I'm gonna get a three. This championship game is reminding me of Connecticut versus Georgia Tech. Oh, before. God. But remember, the distances get longer for your horse, too. Nice break. Oh, you're, you were the one with the better uh, stamina for your horses, right? Because they got longer? Yeah. Well, this is 12. This is top of Kino's horse's range. <clears throat> yeah, 
guy. I've been getting tired of like going 10 to go right? Final the quarter to go. Back pocket. And it is Arrogant Dancer, who has a two-length lead over Stable Style. Stable Style and Arrogant Dancer, 1-2, as the one is allowed to roll along up front through the opening half mile. I don't, oh, wait, they haven't gone a half mile yet. So if they went a half mile, they would have gone into 39 and 3, so that's certainly not possible. So now as they go to the half mile pole, the opening half mile was clicked off in a much more reasonable 51 and 2. If I was graded on these race calls, I would once again not be uh, calling it Goldstream Park, home of the Pegasus World Cup, which you can watch, wager, and win on all the great racing action on TVG and TVG.com. Enjoy ready? great racing action, extended coverage of Kate with Kate and Bradar on track at Goldstream Park throughout the Champions the Meet. Hope to get Paul and a variety of the crew members down for some visits, including Joaquin Jaime. I want to talk to him about this tournament. Uh, potentially uh, some great on-air work later on in the season. As they run the four the turn, the there's four and a half furlongs to go. Stable style is doing the only, only thing he knows how to do, which is to get in front okay, of Arrogant Dancer. Now, we no had the, uh, we had the exercise in round two. We uh, float out Splinter, and yeah, the potentially one just block his, his, star, his yeah. rival. Uh, it doesn't appear that he's going to have that option, right though. Joaquin Jaime is KG on the outside, Why? and he sweeps up with Arrogant Dancer to take the lead. Stable Silas oh, set down the for the drive. The Duca goes to the left hand, time and time again he goes to the left hand. I can hear frustration. I have no audio on this game, but if it was, uh -oh. I have a lot of expletives if I was Paul LaDuca because Arrogant Dancer is running up to score. If this was a fight, they'd have stopped it already. Arrogant Dancer, much the best. Joaquin Jaime moves to 1-9 to nine to win this tournament. Is there a mercy roll in this? Nick Hammers, yeah. I'm going to play the last two out for pride. I got a Joe horse. I'm about to give a cat daddy ride. We'll see if my horse is good enough. <laughs> so if you're Paul LaDuca, uh, at this point, are you charging the mound? Are you I going after the pitcher? Are That's you doing problem. something to entertain the fans? Because certainly winning a race will not do it at this point. Right as the wagering win is like already close. They're off in leg yeah. number three. There's a mile and an eighth to run. And stable style. We're looking for antics. Antics is what we're looking for. We've seen no antics of any kind. We need fall and leaf in this race. If she was in here, we would have some antics. But right now, no antics. It's like a noticeable dent, too. It's arrogant dancer in front of stable style. Stable style is very wide on the court. This is part of this tournament at some point. My thanks to Andrew Champagne for the suggestion. I have no idea if he's remotely entertained by any of my commentary. Today. Meanwhile, on the racetrack, there's half a mile to go. If anybody's interested, Stable Style is in front of Arrogant Dancer. And you get a good deal down the street right there. Yeah. Uh, That's why you keep telling me in yeah. this game ever again. I would already have been floating out. Uh, my oh my rival God. and yeah, I'm Stable Wednesday. Style drifting a little bit. Yeah, 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 he's drifting as well with Arrogant Dancer. He knows he's much the best horse. Here comes Paul on Stable Style. He's drifting out. Stable Style is now passed by Arrogant Dancer, and more of the same here oh, wow. as Arrogant Dancer gets away. Stable Style is completely That's the thing, I just gave my horse a perfect we'll ride, I'm going to get beat. Place, but it's going to be Arrogant Dancer. Come he on, man. his ticket to the Pegasus World Cup. That yeah, just shows you, I just gave all S's on a horse and I ran fifth. It did not just happen. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. We got a miler trying to go a mile and a quarter. <sighs> Seems you got the W here. Where's Billy Potamin eating him? Hit him, on, <laughs> hit him on the stamina one time in the Prince Cup. <laughs> San Fran going 15 no. furlongs. Nice. Good breaks. Oh. I hit him with that Oh wow, popped out on top. Hit him with the stamina late. You inside of me? Hey you? Oh, he 
easy, easy, easy. But as they move into the oh. back stretch of this final race, there's 13 furlongs left to go. I have already been informed based oh, on my message back. from Mr. Champagne earlier that taxis. there are antics here. We are looking for antics. Why there's not? Right as the great right Rob Euchre would say, it's about run. time. It's 8 nothing. In this particular case, it's just 4 nothing. But you get the idea. As they move into the stretch for the first time with a mile and three-eighths to go. And stable style is at... The, but uh, 15 lengths off the lead, Arrogant Dancer moving much closer than that. Joaquin just had a peek over his shoulder on uh, the his horse. Uh, Arrogant Dancer, as they go under the wire the first time. After three quarters, three quarters could not possibly have been in 109, but I think I did see that. I'm laying up front that of 10 for a long. It's going to drop back That's pretty 15. fast. Eric and Dancer kept into the clear. He's already won the series, folks. It doesn't matter at this point in what happens other than antics. We need antics. We want antics. We're crying for antics, but so far, no antics of any kind. Seven and a half furlongs left to run in the race. This is the Prince Cup at Golden Gate Fields. Though we're not allowed to say that if you're a Gallup racer, a licensee. Go with the Melee's brush. As they go up the back stretch. Now Joaquin oh, yeah. looks like he's going to have a lot of fun as he's going to try to uh, set no. a trap for Paul LaDuca yeah. on stable style. There's now uh, five and a half furlongs left to go. Joaquin is up to something. What is he up to? That's the question. We need antics. Out the center. Arrogant Dancer now is about three lengths clear of stable style, and Arrogant Dancer is racing second off of this quick place. As they want the opening mile and a quarter. Now, wait, what is this? Here comes Paulie. Yeah, Paulie's really? going to try right something up, up the inside with stable style. Arrogant Dancer on the outside. It's Arrogant Dancer who leads three parts of a length. Stable style is going to take a drafting trip. Uh, where's the antics? Like what is happening? Are they screaming at each other? I don't know because I have not seen the live action footage. I'm looking at this with no volume. They turn for home. Arrogant Dancer set down for the drive and moving away. Where are the antics? The the stories, Let's man. go to the studio. Maybe Todd Shrupp has antics. Maybe Matt Deep Carruthers has mission. antics. Maybe Greg Wolf, if he was around, has antics. Somebody has to have antics because here at Gallup uh -oh. Racer 2004, no antics of any kind other than Paula Duke. Putting his horse over the rail with an excessive <laughs> left hand. <laughs> Back to you guys. Yeah, the well, CHRV just mad about that. <laughs> that was not fair. Oh, that's the second one. The third one, yeah. So you won. You won. You won eight, eight of your last nine. <laughs>